Imagine going to a supermarket with a short shopping list. Under normal circumstances, this task should be simple. But this time, things are different. Everything in the store has been arranged haphazardly. Soap is next to pasta, which is next to jam. And it gets even more confusing. Apricot jam is on aisle 10, while raspberry jam is four aisles away, wedged between a box of linguine and toothpaste. A simple task that ordinarily would take a few minutes turns into a frustrating ordeal lasting hours. Fortunately, this is only a dream. Our world would be very confusing if we didn't organize things by classifying them in different groups. This is why a supermarket puts all its dairy products in one section and its vegetables in another. If you know where carrots are, for example, broccoli can't be too far away. The diversity of life on Earth makes the variety of products in a supermarket seem trivial. We have given names to almost two million different species living today, and estimates of the actual number of different species vary from 10 million to as high as 100 million. They range from tiny bacteria that are visible only with the help of a microscope to whales weighing many tons. Within only a few square meters of tropical rainforest, there may be hundreds of different species of plants and probably thousands of species of insects. And the number of organisms living today are only a tiny fraction of the number that have lived in the past. Some scientists estimate that 99% of all the plant and animal species that have ever existed have become extinct. We humans are only one species in this complex kaleidoscope of life. But we alone try to learn about and understand the other living things that share our planetary home. In part, this is because we are naturally curious about other living things, but it is also because we want to better understand our own position in the web of life. We want to know how we fit in.